of the top questions I get asked all the time is how to decorate a skinny tree and how to put ribbon on a Christmas tree. So I thought we would just do a two-fold video and we will decorate my skinny Christmas tree out here in the new sunroom. And we will also show you some different ideas on how to put ribbon on any tree. Okay, let's get started. One of my top pieces of advice is to organize your Christmas stuff as you put it away. I'm so happy because now this says staircase landing tree, which I'm going to now use out here in the sunroom. But when I open it up, it has everything in it for this tree. So we didn't have to go digging around looking for where to find the Christmas tree items that I need. One of the first things that I recommend is adding some extra lights. But the fun part about this is, is there's two different kinds that I would go with. Either just some nice little twinkle lights, but I love getting these large bulbs. So then it just really stands out. And so we're just gonna add these around to give this tree just like some more pow. It's pretty easy when it's skinny. You can just run it around. I got these bulbs at Target a few years ago. Anything I can, I will link in the description box for you. I found that these are super nice. And for this skinny tree, I will also list it where I got it uh, below, but it only takes one little thing of bulbs here. Now this tree looks super bright and festive. This was all what I used last year. The best part is I can use it all again. I can change it up. I don't have to use every bit of it. Now we're gonna get started and then I normally start with my bulbs. And so we start with the small at the top and we move larger as we go down. So let's get started. It's a pretty ugly jury day out here today. Don't forget if you can see all the way around the tree and everything to decorate the whole tree. But if it's pushed back and no one's gonna see it, you can get away a little bit with it, not being fully decorated in the back. My goodness, the lighting in here is going in and out and in and out. Ugh. One of the things that I do when I'm putting my bulbs on is I get them to where they're sitting in here nicely in the tree, like kind of like they're a part of it, not where they're just like sticking out. You want them to feel like they're a part of the tree. Okay, now that we put bulbs on the tree, that is a great way to start. And then now we're gonna put picks and ribbon on. And that's really gonna start to fill in the space. And this is where everyone really is like, what do I do? Now putting picks on a skinny tree like this can be a little tricky because it's not very wide. So you don't wanna stick your pick in and have the thing sticking out on the other side. So please be aware of that. I kind of like symmetry. So usually what I put on one side, I might not necessarily put it right across from it, but I might move it down a little bit and put the same thing on the other side. Using picks like this that stick out, kind of give this tree the illusion that it's bigger than it is. Gives it a little bit more, you know, fluff. Okay, let's get started on the ribbon because this is the fun part. This ribbon that I have cut is 18 inches long and this is two and a half inches wide and it does have the wire in it. So that makes a big difference on getting this to hold the shape that we want. So I just want you to, I always, you're gonna think this is weird. See how I have these two fingers? I take it like this. And the reason is, is because I'm holding this in. You don't have to do it this way. Wrap it around your fingers, just like that. See how you have this one end? Well, my other finger has a hold of the other. And then you just go like this. And then, so see how it's pretty tight right now because you know we had it wrapped pretty tight. Keep it like this, go over, put it on your tree. You're gonna use the wire to keep it on the tree. That's the best part about using these kind is just I use it just like push it back up in here and that wire's holding it. But see this part? Now you just like, relax it and then you get the perfect curl in there and you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. That is why you want the wire in there because that's going to help you get the perfect shape. Oh, that looks so cute. And remember, if it you feel like it lost too much of its shape, you can always re-tighten it. Just go like this and re-tighten it up and make it as loose or as tight as you want. Okay, 
time for another one. This one, same thing, has the wire, two and a half inches, but I cut this 24 inches long. And uh, I did find all this ribbon last year at Hobby Lobby. I'm trying not to buy new things this year for Christmas. I'm trying to use what I have. So all I want you to do is we're gonna fold this in thirds. It's super easy. You just loop it, loop it again, and loop it for a third time. Now you have three loops that are all equal in size. Now, you don't even need to worry about hooking it together. Your tree is going to do it for you. Then all you're gonna do is place it over here on your tree and it's gonna look adorable. I love it. It's, it reminds me of the little ribbon candy that they sell at Christmas time. I think that looks really cute. And you can do it this way, or if you want it to be like this way, whatever is gonna fill your space the best and look best in that spot. But for me, I feel like it looked best this way right here. You can spread them apart or keep them more together. Totally up to you. Okay, so this one is about 18 inches long and this one's only two inches wide because I don't want it to be like just a big band coming across here. So basically you're just gonna use the tree on, you know, on places that need some filling, you're just going to place the ribbon back up in there and bring it across just kind of naturally and let it fill the space. It looks so nice like that. You really don't have to do anything else to it. And honestly, it looks like, you know, nice garland going around, but you're not going to just wrap it around the tree like that. Just use these pieces like this and you can do different patterns if you want. This year I'm gonna do mine in a combination of this style and the other two that I did to fill in my tree. Okay, something else that you can use to fill in your tree besides ribbon is this really pretty mesh that they have. I bought this at Hobby Lobby last year, and as you can see, it's just a glittery, blah, 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 a glittery mesh that I cut um, about, I think this is probably about 18 inches long also. And as you can see, I'm just doing the tuck method. So this one's coming across with no tuck. This is tucked. So see how I'm coming this way and then I'm gonna go that way. So I would probably then run this one that way. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move this little guy up further. Do not be afraid to move items on your tree just because you've already placed them there. Once you start to see the patterns and stuff, you'll realize like, oh, I should probably do it this way. But see, you just tuck it and then it adds this nice little filler I love this stuff. I think it looks so cute. I'm gonna go up and down the rest of the tree and fill in the backs and the sides. Let me know in the comments down below what colors you plan to use for Christmas this year. I'm a huge blue lover, so I'm using all my blue stuff again. Let me know, are you doing traditional colors? Do you do muted blues, mauves? Let me know, I'd love to hear. Okay, now that we have our tree all decorated, let's do the top. Whoa! Okay. I'm going to put this adorable little white star on mine, hopefully it'll stay and look appropriate. Okay, once you do that, I don't like how this part isn't filled in, so I'll take these picks and bring them coming out so it looks nice and full, because we want it to be a, you know, a beautiful shining spot for our little star. Couple more picks on the back side. There. Oh, I think that looks adorable. Okay, I think that's perfect for our skinny tree. All right, so after we've placed all our ornaments and ribbons and everything, don't forget to put a tree skirt of some kind down around so you can't see 
the bottom of your tree. Because nobody wants to see that. Even if you have a small one on a table or anything like that, make sure you put something. It could be a blanket, a scarf. You don't have to buy a Christmas tree skirt. But if you want this to look a little bit poofier, um, take some tissue paper and put under there. This one's pretty. I said, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Um, this one's pretty poofy all on its own, but that's just a suggestion is you can um, put the tissue paper on, inside of there. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Just take it, fluff it up. Now here's something, if you don't wanna waste perfectly good tissue paper, just use like grocery bags. That'll be good too, but see how it's giving it a natural poof and just makes it look a little more fluffier, a little more cozy. Oh, that looks good. There's no way we want to be digging back in here to, you know, turn these on and off. I highly recommend these. Um, I list them down below. They're from Amazon. They come with a remote. I think you can do up to five different ones. You can like control it with one remote. We will plug this in and that way all we have to do is click our tree on and off and we don't have to like dig back here to plug these in. Definitely recommend this for any size tree. Stay tuned for lots more Christmas videos and be on the lookout for bonus videos that'll be coming your way. If you're not following me over on Instagram, be sure to do so. You'll get lots more behind the scenes and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.